So tell us about your hat. I'm wearing this hat. It's a navy hat because uh, I'm on a boat and I'm, I'm sailing right past the rape trial issue. I'm sailing on past it. So yeah. today we're doing Birth, Birth of, of a nation. nation. We want to be very clear that our opinions have nothing to do with the rape trial or any of that controversy that's surrounding the film. This is strictly about the film. Now, with that being said, it was weak. As sh it was weak. No, it was not. No, it was not. <laughs> Ashley has no idea what she's talking about. You uh, liked it? I liked it a lot. Wow. It was a very good film. It was a very well done film. There were moments where he was unclear of his voice. I thought that there were moments where he was trying to be an auteur, but he's not there no, yet. No, no. He had a huge uh, goal to accomplish. This was basically a mini epic, you know? I feel like had he had the budget, he would have developed a lot more scenes to be uh, bigger, better, um, and, and better looking to be right quite but honest. we're not talking about his potential we're talking about what was the film no right the potential is there if he had more money right but we're not talking about the potential we're talking about what was there and what i saw on screen was a first time director's film and i think that it was a solid first film but i don't necessarily think that it's worth the hype and I feel like Fox Searchlight spent all that money on that film because they thought they had another 12 Years of Slave on their hand. I'm going to give it four Boys in the Hood. Out of five. Four out of five. I give it a solid three. I was going to say 2.5, but I think that it's worth seeing, so I'm going to give it a solid three. Well, let us know what you think. We sh are sure you have lots of I know. Let us know. We, we, we need to know. Yes. Bye.